Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about access in XPath. We have created this hierarchy to demonstrate all the XPaths we are going to discuss in this video. And we have also shared the link of this page in the description so that you can open it and you try your hands on while watching this video. If you open this page, let's right click on this page and say inspect to see the source code of uh, this page and say control F here. This will open a dialog where you can type your X paths. Okay. Now in this hierarchy, if you want to select uh, ancestor of beer tag, let's see how to do that. Let's find that beer tag first i'll type double slash to indicate that we are going we are going to use a uh, relative x path and not the uh, absolute x path and here i need to mention the tag name which is div and then there are a lot of div tags here in this document right so i want a div tag with id beer okay so this is my div tag, all right? And I want to find all the ancestors of this tag. So I'll type forward slash, and then I'll type my first access name, which is ancestor, okay? And then after that, type colon two times, and then here you can specify the tag name of ancestor. So if you type div here, it will find all the div tags who are ancestors of this beer tag beer element okay and you can see here in the diagram when current tag is beer and ancestor div is selected it will select all the div tags which are in the hierarchy uh, of this element okay now in case i don't want to select all the div tags i want to select a div tag whose id is alcoholic all right so Friends, remember this is the syntax for uh, using access in XPath. Write the access name and then type colon two times. And here you can have a normal expression that we usually type in XPath. Okay, here uh, is the is the syntax and the example for your reference. Now, uh, if you type ancestor or self instead of only ancestor. It will also include this current tag okay so this is ancestor or self all right you can try this tag uh, on your own now let's go to our next uh, axis uh, which is parent now for the beer tag if you select parent and you need to specify the tag name of the parent all right since you have only one parent you don't need to specify tag name here you can simply say star because for a html tag the parent there there will only be one parent okay now if you see this x path people don't generally write like this they instead of writing like this they simply use this shorthand so when you say double dot it will point to the parent of current tag so when you say single dot you can see the current tag is getting highlighted as soon as i uh, type one more dot it goes to the parent tag okay so basically these two tag these two x paths are same now let's go to our next uh, access which is child i want to find for example child of alcoholic okay 
okay uh, a child whose tag name is div okay you can see both the children are getting highlighted here as shown in the in this diagram but again people uh, generally don't use this syntax they simply write div and it does the same thing for you all right so these two x paths are basically same now instead of child if you use descendant ancestor the de descendant uh, access it will basically highlight all the children and all their descendants as well okay let's see how it works so for alcoholic if you type descendant div so it will highlight all the children and their descendants okay again there is a shorthand for this x path instead of writing like this you can simply type double slash and type the tag name of your descendant all right now as we have seen these two x paths are again same now there is one more ancestor which you can use descendant or self which will include the current tag in the while highlighting all the elements okay so earlier uh, if you use only descendant you will get only descendants here but when you say descendant or self it will include the current tag as well now let's talk about following sibling and following now let's see this tag wine okay this is my wine tag and when i type following sibling this will highlight all the sibling which are written below this tag in this particular document all right and when you say only following now this will highlight all the tags which are written below this tag so it will go till the end of this html document it will highlight every tag all right now similarly we have preceding sibling as well so let's take another tag tequila all right so this is a div tag with id tequila and uh, when i say preceding it will highlight all the elements which are written above this tag and when you say preceding sibling it will highlight all the sibling which are written above this particular tag all right friends if this video helps you please subscribe to this channel because that will encourage us to make more videos like and put your thought in comment section because we like to read from you thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye